Now the first difference here between a rain forecast and the climate outlook is that we're looking at totally different models. They're using totally different ways to look at what the climate's doing. And so you can't say that if the forecasts aren't right, then how can the outlooks be correct? Because we're, we're talking totally different systems and setups. It's also important to clarify that this is an outlook, it's not a forecast. No one can forecast rainfall that far out. So it is providing an outlook on the expected climate conditions that will produce a potential of rainfall. Now to start with, we can go to the overview page. So this is really quite a, a broad overview of what's going on through the atmosphere. Usually when you um, go into the summary section, it's talking state-based, e even multiple states. So at the moment, you know, it's, it's talking about potential of increased rainfall along the east coast, you know, potentially drier conditions over the inland. So it's really quite broad, which is not necessarily localised enough for individual farmers' needs. But what it also does on the Outlook page has climate influences. Now what this will do is break down what are the main climate factors that are influencing the outlook for rainfall and temperature across the nation, across the state and down into the districts. And we also have the Outlook video, which is the Bureau's, Bureau's overview. And uh, that's a really good summary of the expected conditions. Let's go a little bit closer into these charts and we start off with a national overview. So the brown is lack of rainfall and the blue is the potential of median or above median rainfall. Look across the top there, we can do one week, we can look at two week outlook, a one month outlook and of course the three month or seasonal outlook. So there are different options there. You can look closer to home uh, in a shorter time period or you can move further out. Now the other aspect with this is that you can zoom in to New South Wales or you can zoom in to the local region. And then again, you can still use, you can look at what the expectations are for the coming week, what the expectations are for the next two weeks, the next month, and then the next three month outlook. So it gives you a broad picture of what's going on through the atmosphere with regard to maximum temperature, minimum temperature, or what we're looking at here, believe it or not, is rainfall. So uh, in July has certainly started off dry. Hopefully it's going to end off a little bit on the wetter side and particularly for New South Wales, it's certainly looking that case, particularly for the coastal areas. Now, once you zoom in, you can also start playing with some of the boxes at the left hand side. So you can look at the chance of above median rainfall or below median rainfall. We've got different outlook scenarios as well. There's the chance of at least. So you can put in, what's the chance of 50 millimeters? And it'll give you a, a percentage chance of above or below those falls. And that actually ex uh, extends from one millimeter to 700 millimeters. So there's really quite a, a broad area there that you can look at. If you, if you would prefer to find out how much rainfall you're likely to record, then that tool is really quite valuable. Now it's worth noting that the, the median rain period in these uh, outlooks sits from 1990 to 2012. So it's not all records, but it is still um, very much a, a, a very accurate tool for rainfall in the coming months. Now there's also past accuracy down in the bottom left hand corner. Now I, I think this is one of the key things for myself using Bureau of Meteorology information is that it is basically all checked. So all the forecasts, all the outlooks, everything gets looked at to see whether it came around, whether or not it was accurate. And when you go to past accuracy, it will tell you and you'll be able to see that at certain times of the year, the outlook models are less accurate for certain areas. And this is typically because it's when the key drivers are in a change mode. So for New South Wales really is autumn, that is the, the least reliable period for rainfall, which is probably what we've seen with the, the outlooks over the um, recent month. Now, if you want all that information a little bit closer to home, 
I hope you can read that little box, but basically you can drag the mouse to where you think you're located and pick up almost localized farm-based information. Now in this instance, it's looking at the chance of at least 50 millimeters at Mangula. Now the median there is 40 millimeters, so 50 millimeters would be above median. The chance of above median is unlikely, but on top of that, it also tells you the percentage chance of up to 100 millimeters of rainfall. So it's some really quite localized information, and you can also get that with temperature maximums and minimums. So there is even this option to bring in those uh, outlooks into a, a very localized region. Mm -hmm.